gosh. Hey folks, uh, this is Reverend Rocker Jeffries coming at you once again with another review of a model I just finished. Or actually I finished this a few weeks ago. This is a 172nd scale P51, I think this is a B Mustang. This kit is hand painted with olive drab on the top and medium gray on the bottom with the black anti-glare on the front and the white and black stripes. I've painted that. This is brush painted. And I also brush painted that nose with the uh, orange and yellow. I'm gonna focus it in. And uh, so this is painted up with the D-Day markings, as you can see. And uh, so this is a Lindbergh kit. And really guys, it's not a bad looking kit. I think it turned out quite well. Uh, and as you know, this is sort of my specialty. I love to build these Lindbergh kits. It took a long time to get those stripes right. Uh, but it was worth it. I was very pleased. And let's see if we can get a look. Uh, well, we get a head-on look there. You can see her. She's looking tough. And uh, there's the bottom. And the reason these stripes are painted on for the D-Day invasion, it was done for the benefit of, of the Allied forces on the ground. There would be no mistaking this airplane for any uh, enemy aircraft from Germany. And so this was kept highly confidential. The Germans didn't know about it. And uh, I'm sure of it, it was of great benefit. It kept... Uh, Kept some planes being shut, shot down accidentally uh, by friendly fire, which happened some in the war. Tester's paints, and I think I just used the basic little jars of paint. I paint with acrylics in order to the military uh, aircraft set, and uh, I think it worked just fine. All right, guys. There she, there she is. Have a good one, y'all, and build models.